But first, two carjackings in a matter of moments. The first happened at a business park on North Center Drive in Norfolk off of Newtown Road. The suspect got away in the woman's SUV, then tried to carjack another woman 15 minutes later at Selger Drive and Kidd Boulevard. Ten on your side's Ann McNamara spoke to people who came to the first victim's rescue. Ann? Nicole, that victim was here just delivering some magazines. She didn't expect anyone to follow her back to her car. And if it weren't for her screams, it's possible no one in this quiet area would have even noticed. Our office is um, the first and second uh, windows. From his second floor office, Michael Williams heard the screams. He looked up in time to see a woman jumping on a red SUV. She literally got onto the top of the vehicle, on the side of the vehicle to stop it. And uh, that's when I looked out and saw that heard the scream. And he drove off this way, and she fell forward straight onto the, uh, uh, down onto the concrete. Williams called 911 while others ran to help. I ran down to the bottom of the staircase in the building, and she was coming in the door. I helped her. She had blood all over, and I was helping her up the stairs. This cell phone video shows the chaos as they tried to clean the deep cut on her forehead. Is the ambulance coming? So. We did call an ambulance. We did. Tried to understand her story. The gentleman followed her from our our elevator to her vehicle. She got in her car. He said, "Get out of your car," and she said, "I'm not getting out of my own car." And so he um, uh, got violent with her. And just 15 minutes later, police got a second call. Same story. This time at the intersection of Selger and Kid Boulevard. This woman and some friends were working outside when the victim pulled up. She told him that uh, she had just been carjacked. I didn't really get a good look at her, but she was obviously upset. Everyone relieved to know police tracked down the suspect who was still driving the red SUV that was once parked in this lot. We never feel any danger here. Police arrested that suspect, caught up with him just a couple minutes after that second carjacking. They've not released his name, but they say a long list of charges are pending. Live in Norfolk, I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side. The woman's purse and personal items were also stolen. No word if they were recovered along with the SUV.